Hi, I am so excited about this dish because my husband Carl says it's 10 on the yum delicious scale and that's a good thing. In the early 1900s, uh, it's reported that Lynn Valley, where I live, was a rainforest. Today it still is a rainforest and I like to prepare comfort foods on days that it's raining because it rains here a lot. So today's dish is my creamy quinoa pilaf. I'm going to call it uh, Philadelphia Meets Ancient Grains, and I hope you like that. Um, I'm going to use today Philadelphia cream cheese, but today it's the chive and onion blend. It's lovely, and in actual fact, I don't use any other seasoning, all the flavors in the cream cheese. So, let's start. I've already got my onions sautéing on the stove. I have two-thirds of a cup of onion, and I've got one tablespoon of butter and two tablespoons of oil. Next goes my one quarter cup of my chopped bell pepper, well, excuse me, bell peppers. And I'm using orange and yellow and red. These are so beautiful. I'm also going to use two teaspoons of garlic. I don't want my garlic to overpower. I just want a little bit of the aromatic flavor. So I'll put that in. We'll saute that up. And it, oh, it looks so beautiful. I'm going to show you because you won't believe the look. It's just gorgeous. It is. So, here we go. Now, on to my pilaf stage. I take my quinoa and I'm I know my quinoa is here somewhere. Just a second. Voila, my quinoa. I'm taking one cup of my quinoa, and it goes right into, my, into the oils, and into the butter, and into the peppers. And this is the pilaf stage, as I said. And you just stir it all up, and the, um, the quinoa, the quinoa, sorry, gets coated with all the oils. It's lovely. Now, here comes the flavor. I add my um, one quarter cup of Philly cream cheese right in. Just pop it all right in. There we go. Now this is going to melt and it's going to be gorgeous. So stir that up. My heat goes to medium. Now that's melting away and I'm going to add now my two cups of broth. In goes my broth. Beautiful. Now I'm going to turn my heat up and I'm going to bring this to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, I'm going to put the lid on and turn the heat down to a simmer. And you simmer it for about 18 to 20 minutes. And stir it every five minutes, occasionally. Don't burn it. Okay. But right now, I have a, a dish that's ready to plate, and, and I want to show you that part. So I'm just going to switch here. So here's my quinoa that I just made. And I'm going to switch it up a bit today. I'm going to use four ramkins for my dish, for my plating. My guests are going to be very impressed. So here are my four my four ramkins. Remember, spray your ramkin before you put the quinoa in, and then it won't stick. Just a generic, a generic um, uh, spray. So now. I'm going to put my quinoa into each of the dishes. Oh, this is lovely. It's really, 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 really tasty and it smells great. There's going to be a little bit left over for those who want second helpings, and I can assure you people are going to want second helpings here. So I'm just going to press that down. a little bit left over in the, bowl, in the pan, but not much. Press it right down so that each of the ramkins has the exact same um, serving. It's such an easy way to plate. All right, a little bit left over, not a lot. That's for those hungry men. All right, my serving dish. I've decided to use a white platter that is lovely. I've sprayed these so they should just pop out, just with a, a knife, just ease them out, 
There we go. They're beautiful. It looks really good, doesn't it? Sorry about the noise. This granite is very noisy. So, here we go. We've got the four mounds of quinoa, and it's lovely. Now, into the microwave is another quarter cup of your Philadelphia cream cheese, your chopped and onion, just a quick, a quick 10 seconds. And then I'm going to garnish with my leftover peppers and something I call a, um, it's a pepper triangle. They look like this, close up. And they're gonna go on top of my, my mounds, my mounds of uh, quinoa. So with a spoon, I just want a little dollop of the cream cheese on top of each of the quinoa. Oh, that's perfect, 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 perfect. And this will not only add to the taste because it's delicious, but it'll also be a base for your garnish. So my garnish can stand that on, on top. Beautiful. Before I, before I put the um, red pepper on, I want to just garnish with a few sticks of chives just out the side because it's really, it's a nice look. The green chives out of my garden, of course. I have that on the website, a picture of my chives. Now, my triangle goes on the top. There we go. And you just flip them over. It's the weirdest thing how they stay together. And one more. Garnish with a little bit of the uh, yellow pepper in between and the, you know, the orange pepper in between. And there you have it. It's a great dish. I've already given it to my friend Martha and she says she loves it. So here we are. <laughs> it's a creamy quinoa pilaf. And thank you for watching and here's to comfort food on rainy days. See you later.